here is our new build site. I'm speaking very quietly as it's around 20 past 8 on a Sunday morning. Just rubbed up some of the uh, brickwork that Simon made yesterday. It didn't go off enough to rub up yesterday afternoon, so I've come and done it this morning. Here's where the driveway is going to be for this house on this side. There's going to be a couple of cars here. We've got an interesting configuration to make up on the driveways as you have to have a ramp up into the homes now rather than a step. So here there used to be all bushes and bramble and cracked concrete paving and things like that. These will be the nice new driveways. Uh, there's a site hut and the storage container. See there we've trimmed those trees down to get a bit more light in. Just show you the front. This right here is halfway between the two houses to the party wall. See one house there and one house there. We have got a two metre close board timber fence running all the way up the side of the plot. And if I show you over on this side, well, we've had to dig some of the bank back in order to allow a decent pathway down the side of this house. We've made up this cage which we're going to put some shuttering on and pour concrete in. So this will be a concrete wall and it will probably be rendered all the way along where you can see we've underpinned this wall here which has a preservation order on it so we've underpinned that with uh, little basically pad stones of concrete which we poured ourselves again they've got rebar and steel cages made up in them up there we'll probably plant some nice trees all the way along there hiding some of that old wall which although it's old it's not the prettiest we've already poured in quite a bit of concrete under there anyway to stop any slippage of the soil and the earth from there coming back and affecting the houses in any way or the pathway. While we're on this left house I might as well show you this one. This is going to be built up a bit and there'll be a wall here and then on coming off this wall here there's going to be a bit of a cantilevered roof coming out to a, a steel post coming up here which we might encase in bricks or we may leave in steel and just paint. So this will be sort of an undercover porch area and bin storage. So there will be a ramp coming up here into the house. You can see all the brickwork that Simon did yesterday is all covered up to protect it from the rain. This here will be the entrance hallway and the stairs will go up here. Straight away on the right here will be a downstairs toilet. And under the stairs here we'll either build in some storage or on the architect's plans it's for a, a sort of a desk area. Here there'll be a set of double doors into the nice lounge which will have doors out onto a patio. And then roughly here there will be doors into the big kitchen diner. And obviously a part of this space here is taken up from the downstairs loo. And this should be a really nice sized kitchen diner in the view from the front here. So that's the, the party wall bit there along there. So there'll be a wall up there. And then we'll probably build a little wall out or put a fence there to separate the two houses driveways and again there's the front door over there but there will be a wall running along here so yeah probably have kitchen units all along that wall and that wall there and the dining table roughly where i'm standing and then there'll either be double doors pocket doors or just an opening here into the lounge area which is a nice size which will then come out through doors here you can see where the brickworks just step down out onto the patio area which will then have a return camera just died so carrying on with my phone so as I was saying the brickwork step down here for the doors there'll also be a nice window here and some windows in the side to let in some more light this will go out onto the patio these concrete pads that we've done will be rendered to make it look nice then there'll be a retaining wall which steps up into the garden and again, probably between the two houses, we'll either build a wall out of the same brick, the Staffordshire Blues, which we've used for the brickwork on the house too, uh, to split the two houses up and give them some privacy. Again, retaining wall on that side, and then steps up into the gardens. We're going to build a studio on, for this house at the top of the garden with a little shower room. That could be used as an office space or whatever the person wants to use it for. Um, and we may do something similar on this left hand side plot but the plot does narrow up that way 
so I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit something in. It might just be a sort of a log cabin or shed on this on this property here. I'm hopeful that the houses there will let me trim a few metres off these trees as it would have let a lot more sunlight in and it won't uh, affect their privacy in any way whatsoever but that's yet to be seen whether they will allow that to happen. So all these walls here, what we've built and all the external walls where the structurally insulated panels will be sitting on top of and there's a 10 mil tolerance for that so we've had to be very careful when setting everything out and laying all this brickwork that the that it's perfect because the panels are made in a factory and then they're brought here craned into place and all stuck together and fixed together so they'll be sitting on all our walls that we've built here and the overall process of getting the walls and the roof up will take roughly uh, four weeks which will be really nice hopefully when they're here they'll be taking up this area with the crane and their vans and whatnot we will hopefully be up the back there doing the uh, outbuilding for this right hand house uh, in this house is going to be uh, three bedrooms on the first floor and a family bathroom and then a further loft bedroom with an ensuite and a dressing room which will be really nice so we're using SIPs on this job uh, it's the Kingspan tech system which is a very efficient way of building it's very fast and it's uh, more environmentally friendly than doing it out of brick and block because you're using OSB, which is like a, a glued together or resin together uh, bits of wood basically, with the PIR boards in between, which is supposedly a byproduct of the petrol chemical industry. So it's quite good to use that. Plus, the SIPS method makes the houses. Uh, a, airtight envelope and very thermally efficient which will keep the running costs down and also the carbon emissions of the property over the future right down. I've had the the uh, pre-build EPC and SAP rating done and these come in as a EPC B which is pretty good and we'll probably take some extra measures to get them up to an A such as a uh, laminate plasterboard or more solar panels and things like that so you can see here the extra space we've got up the back for this outbuilding can go here and then possibly maybe able to get one for this house here but you can see back the houses there again there's the party wall and there's the two houses so it's a lovely private road with a nice wooden gate at the end it's walking distance to Seven Oaks train station which has good connections to London see there the neighbours have just done a lovely conversion there and a nice extension that looks really good so here we're gonna have our fence running all the way along giving privacy to this house up the back here and also to the owners here there used to be a I call it a hedge but it was more just sort of bramble and all sorts there which we've had ripped out so it'd be a lower maintenance solution there and we're going to use the uh, Tyrrell's local fencing company to do that so these areas here will just be lawn and we'll do some sort of pathway up to the studio up the back with the shower room and we'll see what we can do here uh, there's going to be a big dormer all across the back of these houses to give lots of room in that loft bedroom which I imagine will be the master but all in all it's all going well down here now we've got one week until the SIPS people come so next week it will just be finishing a few little bits of brickwork out the front there's a couple of courses left to do getting that all shuttered and concreted so it's ready for the scaffolders and the SIPS people to come and not hurt themselves on that exposed steel and I guess just with the last couple of days of next week we'll just be having a general tidy up and maybe grading some of this back so when the scaffolders come they've got a nice flat area to put their scaffold on what I'm currently standing on is the old bungalow what used to be here which we had crushed up and we're using as hardcore under the patio driveway we've also put some in 
under that block and beam flooring there and then concreted that over and so down the side paths we've got numerous air bricks we've got some at the back the sides and the front of the uh, houses to allow airflow through and you can see we've cut channels in and you see two more channels up there to allow the air to be sucked through either side and front and back of the house to stop any damp or moisture building up underneath this floor although there will be there's concreted as well stop any weed growth but then there's also the block and beam floor then loads of insulation and the screed which will have the underfloor heating on throughout this ground floor and we'll also have underfloor heating on the upper floors too which will be clipped in between the joists so that will allow maximal wall space for furniture rather than radiators so all in all looking good we'll probably have a bit of a tidy up next week as well i've been battling the weather a little bit um, so it's been a bit boggy and stuff but the guys have done really well and ian kindly brought in the marquee which they've been working under a lot when doing the brick laying and here's the brick wall which I rubbed up this morning. You can see we put mortar tone in the mortar because I think, the, and Simon's idea mainly was that the uh, normal coloured mortar just doesn't look right on these bricks, so we've stained it right up a nice dark colour to blend in with the bricks, which will look really good when the houses are on with the white render and the graphite weatherboard which is all made of recycled plastic will be on the upper parts of the house I'll try and put some images up of what it will look like on here so you can have see that I will take another video and try and document the sips going in and also I might do a review video of the Kingspan tech system so people can use that as a reference point because I did struggle to find good reviews of it online when I was choosing what method to do on this job see the first aid station there so all this area where this is will obviously be parking for this left hand house here so I have lots of parking and I'll be parking for two to three cars on this one as well so again thanks for watching sorry about the camera change over midway I hope it turns out okay on my phone and I'll try and get another video up soon